Aspirin induced asthma is also termed Samter's triad, Samter's syndrome, aspirin exacerbated respiratory disease, and recently by an appointed task force of the European Academy of Allergy and Clinical Immunology, World Allergy Organization non steroidal, anti inflammatory drugs exacerbated respiratory disease the syndrome, which EAACI, who classifies as one of five types of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug hypersensitivity or NSAID hypersensitivity reactions, is a medical condition initially defined as consisting of three key features viz. asthma, symptom evocation by aspirin, and nasal, ethmoidal polyposis. However, the syndrome's symptoms are evoked by a large variety of other NSAID besides asporin and rhinitis is an important accompaniment to, and often the earliest manifestation of AERD. The asthma and rhinitis components of this syndrome are hypersensitivity reactions to NSAID rather than true allergic reactions that trigger common, allergen-induced asthmatic and rhinitis responses. The syndrome does not appear to involve, for example, the common mediators of allergen-induced disease, immunoglobulin E or T cells. Rather, aspirin-induced asthma is a subtype of NSAID-induced non-allergic syndromes that include NSAID-induced urticaria, angioedema associated with underlying chronic urticaria, NSAID-induced urticaria, angioedema not associated chronic urticarial, and various other types of typically delayed pathological responses to NSAID such as bullet or maculopapular skin eruption contact dermatitis, photocontact dermatitis, pneumonitis, and aseptic meningitis. It should be noted, however, that about 10% of patients with AERD manifest urticaria and or angioedema reactions to an SAID. Signs and Symptoms the various non-allergic NSAID hypersensitivity syndromes affect 0.5-1.9% of the general population, with aspirin intolerant asthma affecting up to 0.3% of the general population and, when tested by aspirin provocation, up to 21% of asthmatics without nasal polyps and 25.6% of asthmatics with nasal polyps. AERD, which is more prevalent in women, usually begins in young adulthood and may not include any other allergies. Most commonly the first symptom is rhinitis, which can manifest as sneezing, runny nose, or congestion. The disorder typically progresses to asthma, then nasal polyposis, with aspirin sensitivity coming last. Anosmia is also common, as inflammation within the nose and sinuses likely reaches the olfactory receptors. The reactions to aspirin vary in severity, ranging from mild nasal congestion and eye-watering to lower respiratory symptoms including wheezing, coughing, an asthma attack, anaphylaxis, and in rare cases urticaria. In addition to aspirin, patients usually also react to other NSAIDs such as ibuprofen and to any medication that inhibits the cyclooxygenase 1 enzyme, although paracetamol in low doses is generally considered safe. NSAID that are highly selective in blocking COX-2 and do not block its closely related paralog, COX-1, such as the COX-2 inhibitors celecoxib and rofecoxib, are also regarded as safe. Nonetheless, recent studies do find that these types of drugs, e.g., acetaminophen and celecoxib, may trigger adverse reactions in these patients. Caution is recommended in using any COX inhibitors. In addition to aspirin and NSAIDs, consumption of even small amounts of alcohol also produces uncomfortable respiratory reactions in many patients. Cause the disorder is thought to be caused by an anomaly in the arachidonic acid metabolizing cascade which leads to increased production of pro-inflammatory cysteine or leukotrienes, a series of chemicals involved in the body's inflammatory response. 
when medications like NSAIDs or aspirin block the COX-1 enzyme. Production of thromboxane and some anti-inflammatory prostaglandins is decreased, and in patients with aspirin-induced asthma, this results in the overproduction of pro-inflammatory leukotrienes to causes severe exacerbations of asthma and allergy-like symptoms. The underlying cause of the disorder is not fully understood, but there have been several important findings. Abnormally low levels of prostaglandin E2, which is protective for the lungs, has been found in patients with aspirin-induced asthma and may worsen their lung inflammation. In addition to the overproduction of cystinal leukotrienes, overproduction of 15 lipoxygenase derived arachidonic acid metabolites viz. 15 hydroxy cassatetraenoic acid neoxins by the eosinophils isolated from the blood of individuals with ERD. Certain of these products may help promote the inflammatory response. Overexpression of both the cysteinal leukotriene receptor 1 and the leukotriene C4 synthase enzyme has been shown in respiratory tissue from patients with aspirin-induced asthma, which likely relates to the increased response to leukotrienes and increased production of leukotrienes seen in the disorder. The attachment of platelets to certain leukocytes in the blood of patients with aspirin-sensitive asthma has also been shown to contribute to the overproduction of leukotrienes. There may be a relationship between aspirin-induced asthma and TBX21, PTGER2, and LTC4S. Eosinophils isolated from the blood of aspirin-induced asthma subjects greatly overproduce 15 hydroxy cassatetraenoic acid neoxin C4 when challenged with arachidonic acid or calcium ion A4A23187. Compared to the eosinophils taken from normal or mildly asthmatic subjects, aspirin treatment of eosinophils from aspirin-intolerant subjects causes the cells to mount a further increase in eoxin production. These results suggest that 15 lipoxygenase in certain of its metabolites, perhaps eoxin C4, as contributing to aspirin-induced asthma in a fashion similar to 5 lipoxygenase in its leukotriene metabolites. Treatment Testing urinary systole leukotriene or urinary LTE4 can be used after a supervised challenge with aspirin. In aspirin sensitivity, no change in N-methyl histamine is observed while LTE4 levels are increased. This test however lacks sensitivity and has a 25% false negative rate among affected persons. Medication The preferred treatment for many patients is desensitization to aspirin, undertaken at a clinic or hospital specializing in such treatment. In the United States, the Scripps Clinic in San Diego, California, the Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston, Massachusetts, the Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston, Massachusetts. National Jewish Hospital in Denver and Stanford University Adel Tent Clinic have allergists who routinely perform aspirin desensitization procedures. For patients with aspirin-induced asthma, patients who are desensitized then take a maintenance dose of aspirin daily and while on daily aspirin they often have reduced need for supporting medications. Fewer asthma and sinusitis symptoms than previously, and many have an improved sense of smell. Desensitization to aspirin reduces the chance of nasal polyp recurrence and can slow the regrowth of nasal polyps. Leukotriene antagonists and inhibitors are often helpful in treating the symptoms of aspirin-induced asthma. Some patients require oral steroids to alleviate asthma and congestion, and most patients will have recurring or chronic sinusitis due to the nasal inflammation. Surgery Often surgery is required to remove nasal polyps, although they typically recur, particularly if aspirin desensitization is not undertaken. Diet Some people have reported relief of symptoms by following a low salicylate diet such as the fine gold diet. Aspirin is quickly converted in the body to salicylic acid, also known as 2-hydroxybenzoic acid. 
However, there is little evidence that a low salicylate diet is beneficial for patients with AERD. Only tiny amounts of salicylic acid are present in the diet. The foods with the highest concentrations of salicylic acid are beer with 0.2 mg per 100 ml and red wine with 0.04 mg per 100 ml. It would thus require 2.5 liters of beer or 12.5 liters of red wine to achieve the 5 mg dose of salicylic acid or aspirin considered to a minimum reactive dose to trigger aspirin-induced asthma. Other foods however do contain related hydroxybenzoic acids. Wintergreen flavoring metal 2-hydroxybenzoate is found in toothpaste and candies, and 4-hydroxybenzoic acid is found in coconuts, strawberries, cherries and carrots and other foods. The average intake of hydroxybenzoates in the French diet has been estimated to be 41 mg per day with most of that from tea. Relief during exclusion diets may arise from non-aspirin comorbid food intolerances. Current clinical trials are underway to determine whether or not the difficult dietary changes truly provide worthwhile therapeutic improvement for these patients. A diet low in omega-6 oils and high in omega-3 oils may also help. In a small study, aspirin-sensitive asthma patients taking 10 grams of fish oil daily reported relief of most symptoms after six weeks. However, symptoms returned if the supplement was stopped. Alternate and related names. Aspirin-induced asthma is also referred to as leukotriene-associated hypersensitivity. Sampta's triad goes by several other names. Acetyl's allicylic acid triad. Weidel's triad. Francis's triad. Aspirin triad. Aspirin exacerbated respiratory disease. Aspirin-induced asthma and rhinitis. A sufferer who has not yet experienced asthma or aspirin sensitivity might be diagnosed as having non-allergic rhinitis. Non-allergic rhinitis with eosinophilia syndrome. History. It is named for Max Samta. Initial reports on the link between asthma, aspirin and nasal polyposis were made by Weidel in 1922. Further studies were done by Sampter and Beers in reports published in 1968.